Are you considering buying new office furniture but don't know how much to budget? Today we're going to cover how much furniture costs and what factors impact this price. So, buying office furniture can feel and seem a lot more intimidating than it really is. Part of that problem is no one wants to disclose prices up front. They really want you to commit to a meeting with the sales rep first. We feel though, we want to provide you with all the information you need to make the best informed decision for your business. So in this video, we're going to break down for you the three main types of furniture that every office needs to purchase. So that's number one, your task seating, your desks, and your workstations. So then within these three types of furniture, I'll provide for you price ranges and then the primary factors that influence where you're going to land within each of these price ranges. So number one, task seating. You're going to need to budget between $350 to $800. The three primary factors that could impact the cost of your chair are durability, features, and finishes. Durability is the quality and extended warranties you can or should invest in, ideally at least a five to 10 year minimum. When it comes to features, the add-ons are basically unlimited these days with chairs. You have customizations and extra bells and whistles that can reflect style and ergonomics. Each of these add-ons also add on to the price. And then finally finishes. Often when you're presented preliminary quotes, the price reflects standard grade finishes. And this kind of reflects the range of a black plastic base versus your shiny chrome looking aluminum polish base or your grade A fabric seat versus your executive looking leather chair. Number two, desks. You're going to want to prepare a budget that would range anywhere from $700 to $5,000. And this reflects a footprint of approximately six feet by six feet. For this category of product, you really just need to ask yourself two questions. Number one, storage. What do I really need for storage? When you're moving or upgrading or refitting your space, this is actually a really great chance to reassess your internal habits and procedures when it comes to paper printing and filing, storage and efficiency. Upgrading to a more streamlined, modern looking space, it kind of makes sense to also reassess what you're doing with all your filing and storage. Secondly, ask yourself, what kind of finish and look do I want? It's basically broken down to solid wood veneer or laminate for your two options for work surfaces. Veneer is your premium option unmatched when it comes to appearance and selection options. But laminate, it's lower in cost and lower maintenance. And again, just a really great option that offers different looks, different styles, different finishes, as well as hitting your budget. And number three, workstations. Or like that office Dilbert cartoon used to call them cubicles, you know, the high big boxes, which they aren't anymore. And they're called workstations. So here, the budget you're looking at is about 1200 bucks up to possibly 4,000. And just like desks, the two primary factors that influence the cost here are storage and finishes. So storage here, just like when we were assessing desks, you're looking at efficiency, maybe even cleaning up a bit, less paper storage, but more so with workstations, it's usually a number of staff as a part of a team or department. So again, reassess what each individual actually needs for storage versus what could be a communal filing system or storage system elsewhere. So then finishes with workstations. Upgrading from a standard grade finish is often an excellent investment, especially for moving into a new space, rebranding, or just wanting to refresh your existing space. The two most common upgrades for finishes are changing the color or material of your panels. Those are the panels that pop right into the wall of the structure of your space. And then there's also a glass stack. That's another really great feature or finish you can add. Um, and it sits right on top and it's framed or unframed and it comes treated either clear, glazed or frosted. So to recap, number one, task seating, $350 to $800. Number two, desks, $700 to $5,000. And finally, workstations, $1,200 to $4,000. So now you are armed with all this information and you are one step closer to making your best informed decision for your organization when it comes to purchasing office furniture. But if you still wanna learn more 
and get a better understanding of the details broken down of this process, we've created a really great detailed guide for you. You can find it on the link down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Plenty more content to come.